What's up guys? Welcome back. And on today's episode, we're going to give you guys another update on Vato. Currently, uh, we need to do the stone chipping and we need to sort out the sandals. And our good friends at IS Motorsport, Ismail, if you're watching, thank you so much for coming on board. Volunteered to come through and assist us with uh, fitting in the rag top, which is something that alleviated a lot of pressure from us. Now, I must tell you, I really thought that we were able to meet the deadline, but I'm stressing big time purely because we don't have the time to build this car. Like realistically, we don't have the time. And hopefully we're gonna make it, I hope so. Um, so yeah, been a few challenges. We picked up rust. Vato's got rust on the doors. Luckily, it's not as bad as Nkabi's uh, rust. So we picked up a few issues here and there. Obviously, changing the color of the car led to us changing the interior. So there has been some changes. And uh, yeah, a little bit of issues here and there throughout the journey. But then again, that's building a car. Nobody is perfect. No car is perfect. I mean, all the cars that are standing here in the showroom, realistically, all need work they've all got imperfections on them and you know it's so difficult people don't understand the magnitude of what it takes to build a car and ship it overseas for a car show like trust me i i thought about Nkabi's journey last year it was stress i'm thinking about vato's journey now it's even more stress you know so it's not an easy task um, I don't know where we find the strength and the energy, but it comes a lot from you guys, your encouragement, your support, your prayers, your duas. So we appreciate you guys. So yeah, looking forward to the end result and hopefully we'll make the deadline. Hopefully we'll make the timeline and hopefully Vata will be on a container soon, going to the UK and representing our country like Mukabi. So I'm looking forward to this journey. So let's see what we got up to with the Vato bow. Okay guys, so the rag top has officially arrived i'm super super happy we've got about a week left so uh legacy really 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 a massive shout out to you guys if you guys are watching we're gonna send you the link all the way in america they made the whole process so easy for us they actually pushed us in front of the queue uh because we told them the urgency of this uh, uh boat so a massive thank you to legacy and of course we cannot forget AutoStyle. AutoStyle are the guys that paid for the shipping, the duties, and the actual rag top. So a massive shout out to Mo, Eminem, Basa, Zuna, all the guys from AutoStyle. You guys are legends. Thank you so much for coming on board. I really appreciate it. Guys, please go give them a follow and please support them. Um, again, all the businesses here, um, you know, everyone whose name is here and some guys that are jumping on board as well, please go and support them because this is what we need to do. We need to support each other to grow. And uh, I want to actually talk about something quickly before we open up the rag top. So on our banners, we put Pretoria Stan Society, which is Dre, and I put skid marks. The reason why I did that is because I respect what the two gents are doing for the car community so in in south africa we have a problem and i notice this when i go to car shows there's a lot of animosity there's a lot of jealousy there's a lot of hate so for example certain photographers in the car industry if they don't like you they don't take pics of your car and uh, you know i i think it's kind of silly and a lot of times they only promote who they want to promote and what I've noticed is that Pretoria Stan Society and Skid Marks are non-biased. They promote everyone in the industry regardless. So again, for me personally, to use my platform to promote the two gents is a no-brainer because that is what we need in the car scene. We need people that are not biased. People say they have a passion for cars, but yet they have jealousy and animosity. And that's not how things are supposed to be done. That is why I personally love traveling and going to out of town shows and also going for overseas shows purely because there's so much love and appreciation for each other. 
as compared to South Africa. And that is something we definitely need to change. So that was my uh, moment of uh, venting a little bit. So uh, let's open up the sunroof and let's check how it looks. I'm absolutely blown away. Uh, this this is actually one of the key features of the car, which I'm, I, I really, I think it was the best decision. And again, initially we chose the green, not knowing that we were going for a bit of a green paint job. But now that I see the, the color of the uh, fabric, if you look inside the paint, you'll actually see one of the tinsel is the exact same color as uh, the fabric on the roof which uh, you guys know I love matching things up and to take it a step further we went with a little bit of a tan uh, interior roof liner which I think looks absolutely amazing and this is the leather color and look at how nice it plays well together so I actually love it it's uh, working out well so now the most stressful part is actually cutting the roof and fitting the um, rag top on. But my guys are super confident here yeah, to say that we can do it. I mustn't stress. So uh, yeah, we're going to look at cutting the roof soon and we'll show you guys the process of fitting the rag top. So exciting times. I hope you guys are excited because I'm super excited. <laughs> about seven o'clock in the evening the time we actually get to work on Vato luckily like I mentioned Vato doesn't have a lot of work uh, so right now uh, the work we've managed to complete is we've you can see the car is masked off completely we've stone chipped the inner of the arches and we've stone chipped the undercarriage as well um, because the under is just as important as the outside of the car and normally when we do resprays uh, we always stone chip the arches and if the client opts, we paint the inside of the car and we paint the undercarriage as well. Uh, so that's the one thing. We've also masked off for the calipers. Uh, reason being because I want to again play with color like what we did on Inkabi. So uh, instead of going with the color of the car on the calipers, because we've got a spoke wheel, I thought it'll be a cool idea to tie the caliper color in with the interior color so that it breaks the green monotony a bit. So that's one of the details that I'm excited to do. So that's why you'll see the calipers are masked off. Um, and then we're also going to be painting the inside of the car because uh, obviously it's a color change respray. So that will have to be done as well. Now, currently as it stands, um, we're busy with the boot install. So what we're gonna do is, we're building the install, we're connecting the hard lines and doing the hard line setup. And uh, I am gonna be fitting subs into the car. Thank you to Triple X Car Audio all the way in Pretoria, Zane, uh, for sponsoring us a set of two Alpine 10 inch subwoofers and the kicker cabling uh, for the car. We're using a very, very good quality cabling kit. 
Um, so the idea is to run all the cables and mark it off. And then Raj and Pam and the guys at Car Audio and Security just need to connect up and fit the sound. The reason why we're doing it that way is because the install will be built and the m rack will be able to be removed. If we are to let them fit the subwoofers, that means that they would have to dismantle the whole install. And I don't want to give them unnecessary work to do. So we thought it's easier if we put the subwoofers in uh, and finish up the setup and the amplifiers will come here. So this is a very creative uh, install. It's something I've been wanting to do in this car. Um, so I actually changed the design twice. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. So it's still in the process uh, of mocking up and then we obviously got to send it down, etc., etc. And then I want to show you something else that we're doing as well. I want to give a massive shout out to whoever bagged this car in Cape Town. Mujahid, whoever bagged your car did a phenomenal job. I want to show you guys the brackets that they actually made. This is absolutely phenomenal work. So the way this car was bagged, the brackets that were made is done to perfection. So it made our job much easier. So the reason why we are stripping the airbags uh, is because normally whenever we bag cars, we use braided hoses. And the reason why we use braided hoses is to eliminate failing of the air pipes. So the normal air pipes are very weak. So sometimes what happens is if your discs get hot or if there's any heat, the pipe bursts. Or alternatively, if you're driving and there's a stone or you drive over a piece of glass and it shoots and it tears your pipe, uh, your pipe could burst. So that's the reason why we put braided hoses front to back on all the cars that we bag. And we also use very, very good fittings as well. You guys can see the quality. And of course, my go-to person for this was these auto pipes. So thank you, Terrence, for sponsoring all the fittings and the pipes and the hard lines, as well as the radiator pipes for Vato. Um, we always come on board whenever we are busy with a project like this. So I thank you so much. If you guys need any air fittings, or power steering pipes, brake pipes, anything to do with pipes, please go and see these auto pipes and don't forget to tell him that Chup sent you. So right now we're gonna be installing the braided hoses uh, and then running it through the car. The car's got six millimeter piping. We are gonna be changing the piping uh, to eight millimeter uh, right through. So the braided hoses are eight millimeter and the normal air piping with the braided hose and the uh, air pipe connects is gonna be eight millimeter. So that's ideally our task for today. We've got Edie here that's busy bending, <laughs> bending, bending it like Beckham. <laughs> so here we're bending the hard lines currently. This is the tanks. The tanks were sponsored by Southern Lowe's. Elton, you're a legend. Thank you so much for sponsoring us the two air tanks, brother. We appreciate you a lot. Thank you for coming on board. And again, that's what it's about, guys. So, so Bulls like this make me emotional and the reason why is because the whole car community and everyone that's been in the industry for long and everyone that plays a part in this industry pulls together when you really need them. I mean the guys really didn't have to come on board and they did it out of the goodness of their heart and that really really is what the car industry is about. So I thank you to all the sponsors and of course the viewers because without you guys I wouldn't have had direction and motivation for this car. So right now, we're bending the hard lines and we're gonna mock it up. Um, so looking forward to that. I wanna take you guys now to the interior. Okay, before we go up to Rasta, I wanna say I got another legend in the game that's been in this industry for very long. This smell from Obasto Sunroofs IS Motorsport. I got on the call and I asked him if he wouldn't mind coming over and helping us put the rag top sunroof because Obviously, sunroofs are their speciality. Ismail obliged, so we're gonna cover that shortly. Uh, so Ismail will come out with his team and help us install the uh, sunroof. Just to give you an idea of how um, stressful it is, there is a, a document that we needed to print, which was 96 pages. So 96 pages is the instruction manual on how to uh, do the roof. So it's quite interesting, but again, Ismail and them are more experienced than us. So I'm grateful for that. So you guys will get to meet them shortly. 
uh, or actually tomorrow, which will be later in the video. I think so. Yeah. So yeah, so let's go up to Rasta and let's check out the upholsteries coming up. This is the new color. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm so glad we didn't go with the green. I love the green, but if the car was black, it would make sense to go with the green. I'm happy we went with this color. And I must tell you, Crest Leather was absolutely amazing. Uh, Tumi was a legend. I called Tumi up and I asked her, I'm like, I'm changing the color of the car. I've already stitched the seats. Uh, so I've used some of the hides you guys gave us. Is it possible for me to maybe uh, swap out the remaining hides and maybe just pay for the two hides and you guys supply me with new hides? And they were on the ball with it. They really, really went above and beyond. And I think for them as well, it, it's kind of a special ball because their work is also going international twice. You know, so we're very grateful to me. If you're watching, thank you so much. You're a legend. I enjoy doing business with you. Uh, so yeah, so the seats are getting done now. Um, so hopefully the interior will be done by Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we'll start installing it. So right now, this is how the seats look before we take out all the creases and we stretch it a bit. So it's a very old school color. The color in question is called so the color in question, guys, is called Intaba 10. Yo, like, I, I wish you guys were here to actually smell it. Because, you know, I, I, I love to smell interiors of cars. And that's why I probably like perfume in it so much. But, um, old school vintage look. Uh, and, and it's so ironic, right? So, initially, uh, we chose black. And we chose the green roof. And we chose the green leather. And with the change of exterior color and with the change of the interior color, the green rag top looks absolutely mental, especially because the color of green and the shade of green in the rag top is ex the exact same color as one of the tinsels in the paint. So that's how close it matches. And on the flip side, by chance, we weren't planning to go with a tan uh, uh, interior a uh, uh, cover or I can say the, the inner part of the rag top roof. Uh, so we were limited on options. So we decided to choose a tan color and we thought we could change it to a green, to maybe the green leather so it matches. But when the roof came, the exterior green, the inner portion of the rag top roof is a tan color. It looks very close to this. So everything is working out in an amazing way. So I'm super excited. Um, it is a bit stressful because obviously uh, we want to make the deadline. Um, we've got so much to do. Uh, the one week up was obviously the wheels, getting the wheels to fit. But ideally, I'm super excited. I can't wait for the end result. I've got some surprises. The install you guys are going to die for. I'm doing something absolutely mental there. Um, it's a little finishers that are going to make this car one of a kind. So what do you guys think so far? Are you guys liking the build? Are you enjoying it? And, and one more thing, we can't forget the Marrakesh Brown guy. Uh, guy, hope you well. I'm wearing Marrakesh Brown for you today. I hope you like my outfit. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you in the UK, brother. Don't forget, I need your sizes. Uh, so if you could please comment with your Instagram handle or your contact details so we could contact you. I need to make you your Marrakesh brown gear so I can bring it with to the UK. Um, what's your favorite part of the build? Is it the wheels? Is it the rag top? Is it the paint, the interior, the boot install? Comment down below with your suggestions. But yeah, I'm excited. Looking forward to it, guys. Hope you're enjoying the journey. One of the major key components to this build is the rag top sunroof. So fortunately for us, Legacy did us a favor and pushed us in front of the queue and managed to get us a sunroof in time. Now we need to fit the sunroof and we're not sunroof people. Uh, so the best in the game is Ismail from IS Motorsport. I got on a call and I literally begged and pleaded for him to please help us because this build is so important. And Ismail, being the gentleman that he is, obliged and decided to come through on a Saturday to assist us 
to install the sunroof, which is something you don't get in this industry. So, bro, how are you feeling today? Nervous? Uh, not nervous, just about uh, excited. Excited, excited, yeah. Nice. Is this your first uh, uh, overseas build, kind of? That you part of? Yeah, it's the first thing we're doing for overseas. Nice, hundred percent. Tell us a bit about your company. Everyone knows you in the game, but for those that don't know, uh, yes, Motorsport has been around now about 20, 24 years. Sure. So uh, specialized in some of installations and now repairs and yeah, the business has grown. Nice, mashallah. The business has grown. We started off small, putting on just uh, the common cars, but now we're doing from antique models like this one here to the very new latest BMWs, nice. whatever we can fit. Nice. And, and what has been your proudest moment in your business? Proudest moment in your business? There must be many. There must be many. But if you think of one, something that stood out to you that you're proud of? Proudest moment, uh, difficult. Difficult to say, but there's been so many things, you know, different fitments. Uh, but I think now moving into our new premises, the in OD at the Glen. Nice. We got a workshop, everything all in one, nice big shop. It's looking smart. So I think that's a problem. Of yeah. course, any growth is positive, yeah, yeah. especially in the type of industry we in, because we regard it as a luxury. It's it, yeah. You know, and uh, I believe yeah. if you survive COVID as a business yeah. owner, you can it's survive so anything. Easy. You know, so yeah. yeah. Any advice you want to give to young, aspiring entrepreneurs that are watching? Um, it's hard work. Huh? There's yeah. no easy way. It's yeah. all about hard work and uh, dedication and uh, passion. It's very important. I gotta love what you're doing, and the rest will fall into place. Nice. I like that, yeah. guys. <laughs> and, and again, if you guys look at the similarities, there's always passion. There's always hard, hard work, work. There's yeah. always dedication. Because for me personally, and I'm sure you'll agree. If you don't have passion for what you're doing, when things get tough, you'll walk away, you know? The passion is what keeps you going despite the obstacles. So yeah, okay. Because cool. there'll always be obstacles. Like, and so that can have so <laughs> much for like coming it. out. Thank you. So let's go through what you guys yeah. are going to do. Maybe you can show us a bit uh, of uh, how you plan to install Yeah, look, we're going to... First, we have to get to know the roof, uh, <laughs> the footing. Something new, we haven't really tackle one of these before yeah but uh, more or less i think we know how it all gets together how it all fits together okay so now the main thing is just to center it properly on the roof okay and uh then i cut and fit yeah and luckily <laughs> luckily the product came assembled assembled yes yeah, yeah. otherwise yeah. i think i would have struggled yeah. with yeah. Yeah. not not that we used to yeah. i actually had a question by one of the viewers uh, they want to know why is it that there's no longer rectop sandals? Why is Robasto no more making rectops? Uh, the market is very small overseas. Okay. So I think it's just us in Brazil that really uh, still fit aftermarket sandals, really. Yeah. But overseas, the market is very small now. And especially on the rectop, because the rectop was mainly for all the cars. I mean, yeah. in overseas, once a car's over five years, it's yeah. It's uh, history. Uh, yeah, we still look after all of that. So unfortunately, but uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe something in the pipeline. We'll see. Nice. And what do you think of this product? It's the first time. We haven't really seen. moved it as yet. Yeah. But uh, the finish and stuff looks nice. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, uh, oh, looking forward to it. And once again, Jazakallah so much for pleasure, coming man. through and helping out. You yeah. have no idea. I had more <laughs> air about <laughs> A yeah. month, two months ago, until we yeah. started this no, that's project. That's just business. That's, that's also mine. <laughs> I should start yeah. wearing caps oh, also. Wearing cap, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. I won't bother you anymore. No. Let's get to it. Okay, thank you. Mate. No problem. Yeah. Guys, if you need any sunroofs, like I said, every company that has come on board, we can't thank them enough. I mean, you know what? Ismail didn't have to do this. He didn't have to bring his team out to come and do this, you know? So we really appreciate it. Please show them love and support. Any sunroofs you guys need, this is the man to talk to. Over 20 years in the industry. And don't forget, when you go to them, please tell them that Chip sent you.
Okay, so two of our biggest stresses are now handled. So the rag top sunroof is fitted, it's working perfectly. We actually have now an opportunity to do the roof liner. So that's gonna happen probably by tomorrow. So rag top was a bit of a stress. So I, I, I didn't wanna take a chance to do it on our own. You guys know Ismail and team from IS Motorsport generously came through and spent the whole day fitting the sunroof and it came out absolutely amazing. So that is definitely one of the highlight features on Vato that I'm super, super excited. So again, um, and this is to all of you guys watching, um, I judge at a lot of car shows. I've been given the opportunity to judge at car shows around the country. And again, when I build a car and when I judge a show, you always gotta have all the boxes ticked, you know? And that's the way I try to build my cars. So for example, the rag top sunroof is something that if you had to go enter in a show, you'd score points on it because it's something unique. It's a custom feature. Um, the gold calipers matching with the gold tinsel in the paint. That's also something unique. Uh, we've done some work with uh, Blastec on the uh, engine bay components. They did a phenomenal job. I'll show you guys that on the next episode. Um, so yeah, all our sponsors are coming through. I'm so happy. And again, I'm building the car not to win. I'm building the car with the intention to go and make a stamp for South Africa in the overseas uh, car scene. And again, this is for all you guys. We're doing this together. Uh, you know, and I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love from all of you guys. A lot of people have been messaging and asking when is the next Vato update video dropping. So yeah, thank you so much for encouraging us guys and also giving me advice on how to build a car. And of course, guys, our sponsors have been absolutely amazing. Crest Leather, Southern Lowe's, Bees Auto Pipes, Blast Tech, uh, Auto Style Motorsport, WYS. WYS has been phenomenal throughout this journey. This kit, Plasma, Graphics Park, Butchery, Easy Tracks. And also we've got a few more sponsors that have hopped on board, like Triple X Car Audio, they have sponsored us, the subwoofers. Um, we're gonna pop all their details up. You guys must go give them a follow and support them. And my good friend Mshibe, Mshibe Radiators. I phoned him up and said, listen, I want to recon Vato's radiator. I sent it through, the man didn't charge me. I've been doing business with him for about five, five, six years, you can say. Didn't charge me, didn't want to charge me. He said, if this is for Vato, the car that's going overseas, I'm sorting it out for you. So thank you so much, Mshibe. You are a gentleman of note and yeah, that's how it goes, guys. One end washes the other. We help each other out. And we help each other out with the intention of growing what this car is. So yes, it might be a bag Mercedes-Benz, but it's more than that. This car represents the car scene coming together and us as a car community building the car, what we can achieve. So that is my motivation for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to releasing more episodes while we finish Vato. It's quarter past late. I'm going to get working on the car and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Stay safe. <laughs>